When you open Finale Notepad, you'll see a box to enter the title and composer of your composition. Type these in the respective boxes. Choose Portrait or Landscape Mode, and then click Next. Select your instrumentation on the next page. You can create scores in Finale Notepad by selecting multiple instruments. For this lesson, students will be writing a sea chanty for the instrument that they play. Let's use violin as an example. You may want to make sure that all of your students write in the same time signatures and key signatures, especially if your class will be playing or performing these student compositions. For this example, students will all use 3-4 time and a key signature of 2 sharps. For more advanced students, any of the listed time signatures or any key signature could be utilized. But for now, we'll go back to two sharps, since most beginning string pieces and method books are heavily based in D major. You can also select a number of measures in the piece here. For our example with fourth graders, we will say eight measures. But don't worry, it's easy to add or delete measures later on if you need to. One thing to keep in mind with beginner composers and musicians is that, as Brophy stated in his November 1996 article in Music Educator's Journal, students are often most successful in composition activities when they are given as many constraints as they need. For this project, let's limit the rhythm values that students can use to quarter notes, eighth notes, half notes, and dotted half notes. And the note values they can use are D, E, F sharp, A, and B. Pentatonic scales are good choices for beginning composers because the lack of half steps usually leads to a nice sounding melody. Furthermore, utilizing these constraints will allow fourth grade string players to create compositions that they can actually play. Depending on the level of your musicians, feel free to use different constraints, fewer constraints, or maybe no constraints at all. Some teachers might assign everyone in the class the same rhythm and have students determine the pitches only. You know your students better than anyone. So decide what freedoms and what controls will give them the most opportunity for success. Just make sure that any parameters are clearly explained and displayed for students. Depending on the time of year, you can use this composition activity to reinforce skills that your musicians are currently working on, whether it's a new time signature, key signature, notes, or fingerings. Okay, we're ready to start composing. Let's say that one of our constraints is that the piece must both start and end on a D. Entering notes and rhythms is very easy. Simply click on the rhythmic value you want to enter, and then the place on the staff, like this. You can change the rhythmic value of something you've already entered simply by clicking the new value and then clicking over the note. If you need to erase a note, just use the eraser tool like this. And to change a note, simply click and drag it to its new location. Remember, G's were not allowed in our pentatonic scale constraints, so we'll just slide that down and make it an E. To create a dotted half note, simply click the half note and then the dot. Remember though, you'll have to click the dot again to make it go away for your next note. I'm going to keep entering notes. Depending on your goals, you might ask students to write their compositions on manuscript paper before they use Finale Notepad. Or they can just compose right at the computer. Okay, 
Now that we've got eight measures written, let's listen to our sample composition. If the playback menu is not already showing, click Window and then Playback Control. Hit Play to hear your composition. You can also listen to your work as it's in progress simply by pressing play in the playback tool. Once your students are happy with their melody, they can save and print their composition. Knowledge of only these basic functions is enough for you to incorporate Finale Notepad into a composition lesson plan. However, if you'd like, you can ask them to use more features. This will make the lesson more meaningful because you can ask them to use skills and concepts that they are currently working on in orchestra class in their compositions. For example, the dynamic tool is very easy to use. Simply click the tool and then double click above or below the note. Select your dynamic to add it in. Using command Z, I'm going to undo those just to keep the screen a little bit more clear. The articulation tool is right here click once above or below the note. And the options are somewhat limited compared to the full function finale, but students can put in basic articulations or even bowings with this tool. If students are working on playing slurs, they can add those into their composition as well. The slur tool is right here. Simply click it, double click underneath a note, and it will slur it to the next one. To slur more than two notes together, double click, hold, and drag, and then you have a longer slur. Again, I'm going to use Command Z to delete those slurs just to clear the screen. Some students or teachers may want to include lyrics in this project. The lyrics tool is also very easy to use. Click on the tool and then double click underneath the first note of the composition. Then just start typing. The space bar moves the cursor to the next note. Using lyrics is a great way to correlate what students are learning in music to other classes. You can ask them to incorporate a fact from science, social studies, or language arts into their composition. If students want to create longer compositions, they can easily add measures. Simply click Edit add measures, and type in how many measures you'd like to add. Deleting measures is easy too. Click the selection tool, click a measure, and click delete on your keyboard. You can select multiple measures by clicking the first measure you want to delete, holding down the shift key, and clicking the last measure you want to delete. Hit delete, and they all disappear. Whenever students are ready and have met whatever requirements you've asked of them, they can save and print their compositions through the file menu. These student compositions can be used as playing quizzes for students or even performed at concerts by individual composers or by the entire ensemble. The class could compile their own book of original sea chanties. This composition lesson helps meet national music standards and also relates student learning of playing their instrument to concepts of the ocean and sea that they are learning in other content areas.